Hello everyone, Randy here again, and we're playing Farming Simulator 16. And picking somewhat where we left off last episode. Uh, last episode we were working on mowing the grass here. As you can see, we still have a tractor working on that yet. Almost done there from the looks of it. So I'll get another tractor here going on. Picking this grass up here. Nice thing, this field doesn't have... Well, I guess there is a fence there, but it's not as much of a fence around it. I know that other field, that, that tends to cause a bit of a problem there, so. Okay, get uh, this disconnected. And yeah, like I was saying there last episode, a little bit uh, concerned about the uh, height of that tipper there. I guess we'll find out this episode. In fact, oh, not quite. I say that uh, canola over there has to be pretty close to being ripe. I wonder if this tractor will even pull this tipper. Oh yeah, that'll pull it without too much difficulty. I don't think there's anything in the combine at the moment, so I don't think it'll put its pipe out. That looks a bit high to me. I guess, we'll, like I said, folks, we'll find out here. Okay, mowing is complete. And yeah, like I said, this uh, grass will be going to the sheep. And we'll uh, see if we can get the uh, sheep going here. And rather than parking it back by the barn, maybe I'll leave this uh, parked up here somewhere. A little more in the, the open, seeing how we got kind of two fields going here now. Okay, statistics. Milk, 45%, so not quite full yet. Not a whole lot in storage either. Uh, we do have quite a bit of manure. Uh, speaking of what, someone was asking me here a while back about the manure. Uh, they were having some trouble uh, with the manure aspect. They bought a manure spreader. Uh, could not get it to work, and I actually want this screen back. Uh, I want to make sure you actually have manure here, and I believe that was his issue. He didn't actually have any manure. And as far as I know, you need both grass and straw to get the manure, so... Not sure if you can get away with one or the other. Okay. Oh, it's not quite ready yet. Also, I have to keep an eye on this grass field. That does not appear to be ready yet either. Okay, and just uh, save a little money here while we're waiting for the canola to grow. Let's uh, do a little driving ourselves. We'll see how uh, bad a job I can do about this. Obviously, the first pass here went really smooth uh, because I had unhired the worker there. After he uh, basically lined it up nice and straight for me.
Okay, definitely have to pay attention to the driving a little bit here. Okay, so yes, being a little quiet here, concentrating on the driving. Oh, missed a little bit here and there. Oh, well. 66% full. I have my doubts if we'll actually fill this uh, on this field. I'm assuming this field's probably very close in size to our other field. And typically we never fill it on the other field either, so... Okay, looks like another three rounds here maybe, and we'll have this uh, field sewn up. Or maybe I should say picked up. Oh, and our canola is ripe as well. Okay. Let's uh, actually get to that combine here and keep him going. And we'll pick up this last bit of grass here, drive that over to the sheep. So it looks like a whopping 92% off the field. That actually doesn't seem too bad. I think that's a little more than our other field usually produces. Oh, 93% if I pick up the little bits I missed here. Okay, there we go. And now I actually got to find out where the sheep want their grass at. Oh, I'm guessing right on the sheep symbol there. No, that's not good enough. Okay. Oh, there we go. A little hard to see the back of the trailer. It looked like we were on it good enough, but I guess not. Oh, we got grass left over. Excellent. Let's uh, go give that to the sh uh, cows then. I'm sure they will uh, take it. There 
again, I guess we gotta be a little bit farther. And just out of curiosity, because we do have quite a bit of manure. What is a manure spreader? Probably expensive if I had a guess, but uh, that might actually save us on fertilizer costs. Because what is it? It's like $10,000 to fill this thing every time. Okay, did I... Oh, it's, it's under fertilizer. That's why. Okay. Uh, that is slurry, I believe. That is, I'm pretty sure that's from the biogas plant. So I don't think we have any slurry. We need a solid one. So this would be solid. That's actually not too bad of a price. Maybe we'll actually look at getting that. Because like I said, that'll uh, hopefully save us a little bit of money. Because it does cost us, like I said, I think that's 10 or maybe a little more than that every time we go to fill it up. Okay, are you full yet? 71%. We're waiting to see once if I can actually uh, drive this monster tipper we have underneath the pipe here on this combine. We'll, uh, we'll find out. I'm hoping we can, because otherwise that'd be kind of uh, disappointing. Yeah, combine, 460000 Okay, not cheap. I would imagine the uh, bigger combine would probably have a higher pipe, so we could pretty much guarantee that would work. Almost full, 94, 95, 96. We'll uh, go hop on the tractor here and get ready. Oh, he is full, okay. Moment of truth, folks, is it gonna work? <laughs> I, it works. Uh, it's definitely, as you can see, uh, that's. Nope. Definitely too high of a tipper, but it does work, so I'm happy about that at least. Okay, and I don't think we have anything else to do. Let's just double check. Uh, milk is good. So let's uh, take over for the combine in here. Wouldn't be so bad uh, doing this myself if it was a bigger combine, but uh, such a small combine. Definitely, I prefer a hired worker over myself doing it. Uh, this, by the way, I think I was mentioning this last episode, I had a field wither on me. Uh, this is basically how I had it wither all three fields, canola. I uh, became ripe at the same time. Like I said, I'm able to plant it so fast now that I uh, can't harvest it fast enough. So I just need to make sure we stagger the fields a little more. So yeah, basically by the time I got the 
first two fields harvested. Uh, the third field was withered. And I mean, it withered just... I had the two fields completely finished. I think, was I unloading the combine or something like that? And that's the point at which it withered. So I lost the entire field. I did have the whole two fields done. But yeah, unfortunately, withered. And I think it was actually the big field here that was withered too yet. I think it was these two that I had harvested. And then the big one was the one that was withered. Or was it maybe the one I just did now? I don't remember exactly which one. But uh, yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. Okay, uh, we'll turn this around here a minute. I'm going to get the uh, tractor on cultivating that field we just finished. Okay, here are the worker. Get the tipper off the field here a moment. Which is 11% full. That's nice for a change. The other tipper there, uh, you pretty much almost had to empty that tipper every time you had the combine fill it. I mean, you didn't have to, but uh, basically every fill from the combine, I forget the fill percentage, but uh, you can never put actually two full loads in there. Looks like we uh, might have to be getting some fuel on this tractor here pretty quick, too. Uh, I just happened to notice that. I don't want to take any chances here and wrecking my field, so I'm making sure I fold this up here. Anyway, folks, I think we'll uh, we'll wrap it up there. I will continue harvesting. Uh, I might do some more harvesting off-screen as well just to get our money up there so we can uh, buy some of the equipment we're looking at. And, of course, if folks have any comments or questions on how to... Uh, or comments on how to make more money, let me know. Like I said, I'm assuming to make more money. We do have the biogas plan, of course. Uh, but that is going to require money to get that started as well, so... But anyway, like I was saying, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.